In this video, we'll see how to solve problems that involve both an absolute value and an inequality. So let's say you want to solve this problem, that the absolute value of x is less than 5. Now, the way we deal with absolute values in general is we break it down into two different problems, right? One involving the positive and one involving the negative of what that absolute value is equal to. The only difference, if it involves an inequality rather than an equal sign, is that you flip that inequality whenever setting it equal to the negative value. So here, what you do is, out of the two things that you're going to break it down as, the first one is literally just don't even think, copy it down, just ignore the absolute values. So I'm just going to copy this down. This is x less than 5, and I'm done. For the second one, we're going to do two things. The right-hand side now has to be negative, so that's negative, but then you also flip the inequality, right? So we're getting rid of the absolute values, but to do that, we're going to do x, and then we're flipping it to so greater than, and then instead of 5, we have negative 5. So there you go. So that's, that's our answer. Now, we can represent this in a different way, in interval notation. x is less than 5 is really negative infinity to 5. And x is greater than negative 5, well, that's negative 5 to infinity. And if you think about these two intervals, their overlap, uh, if you were to just plot it out, it's like negative infinity all the way to 5, but then also negative 5 to infinity. So it's like you got this and this. So for, for both of these to be true, the only way that uh, is to be between negative 5 and 5, right? So you want that overlap, that negative 5 to 5. So our final answer here, even though it's like you've written it like this, and even though saying that it's here and here is correct, um, you'd want to write it like this. You might see the answer written like negative 5 to 5, like this. So that, or another way it could be written out is just uh, an interval notation is negative 5 is less than x, which is less than 5, which again, both of these are the same thing. They're both saying that x is somewhere between negative 5 and 5. Sometimes when they write it in interval notation like this, they'll say it's here and here, right? It's in the overlap of these two intervals. But again, this, to a mathematician, this literally just means this, so same thing. All right, now let's look at another problem. Let's look at this guy. 2x minus 4, absolute value, plus 4, less than 10. All right, so we're going to just solve this the way we normally would. Subtract 4 from both sides. So here we have 2x minus 4. Subtracting 4 from both sides gives us 10 minus 4, which is 6. And now, now we have it to this, uh, to the point where we're going to break it down into two different trajectories, right? One, remember, the first one, just ignore the absolute value, keep everything else as is. 2x minus 4, less than or equal to 6. All right. And for the other trajectory, we're going to flip the sign, so it's going to be greater than or equal to, and we're going to set it on the right hand side to the negative base. So now, just solving each of these, add 4 to both sides, so 2x is less than or equal to 10. And so we divide by 2, we get x is less than or equal to 5. And here we get uh, 2x, we're going to add 4 to both sides, negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. So dividing negative 2 by 2, we get negative 1. So here we get that x is bigger than negative 1. It's somewhere to the right of negative 1, so this is a number line like a negative 1. It's got to be to the right of that, but then it's also got to be less than 5. So again, here we could write this more compactly as negative 1 to 5. And here we're going to have square brackets because these inequalities involve an equal sign as well, right? So we get square brackets. Again. The last problem then, this guy, uh, let's, uh, let's do this one out. So looking at this, so... There's two inequalities here, and believe it or not, they're actually like terms, because inside the inequality, it doesn't matter if you do a minus b or b minus a. So 4 minus x and x minus 4, in absolute value, are the same thing as each other. So you could literally just write both of them. You could, write, you could rewrite this one as x minus 4 if you wanted to. So now that you have that, this is basically, so I'm just going to make that more clear. So this is 2 times x minus 4. And we're saying that's greater than or equal to 6 minus x minus 4. So we're going to then add 
this x minus 4 in absolute values to both sides. And we're going to add that. Uh, and so it just gets rid of it here. And here you have two of them. Adding one will make you have 3 x minus 4. And there's just a 6 on the right-hand side. Divide both sides by 3, you get x minus 4, and absolute value is greater than or equal to 2. And now, now that we've got the absolute value by itself on one side, is where we can apply the new thing we learned. We're, we're going to split this into two, where first you just ignore the absolute value, so x minus 4 greater than or equal to 2. And the other one, where you flip it and set it equal to the negative. So x minus 4 is less than or equal to negative 2. So now solving each of these out, you just add 4 to both sides. So x is greater than or equal to 2 plus 4 is 6. And here x is less than or equal to negative 2 minus 4 is, uh, sorry, negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. So here we have, uh, it's weird because here it might be tempting to look at this and say, oh yeah, so just like the other one's like 2 to 6, right? But here it's the other way around. It's like on the number line, it's not that we want the area between 2 and 6, so if we have 2 here and 6 here, we actually want greater than 6. So like this and less than 2. So it's like not the overlap, but it's like we want uh, negative infinity to 2, or, this is the notation, a u means like or, so this or that. So it's either here or it's from 6 to infinity. So this is how you'd write it in interval notation, so that is your final answer.